What's up, y'all? Alvin here, and I'm back with another one of my super easy to tie, down and dirty guide flies. I tell the good jokes. <laughs> All right, so I call this one the AD Crab, and that's crab with the K, because it's not really a crab. <laughs> but for some reason, the redfish love it. And I've caught fish on this fly when nothing else seemed to work. Once again, the nice thing about it, it is super easy to tie. Only a few materials required. We're gonna need a hook. And for this one, we're using a, uh, a long shank hook. So that uh, Mustad 7411 stainless steel in a one knot. I'm sure there's plenty of other hooks that will work, but this, this just happens to be the one I have. <laughs> V-chain eyes. I believe these are size large V-chain eyes thread uh, just a plain old black thread is what we're using today you could try to match it to the fly because the fly is going to be olive only materials we need hackle just uh, like a strung saddle hackle will work once again nothing fancy and some type of hair to use for the wing. Uh, you could use a wool. There's lots of other dubbing type hairs that'll work, but you just need something that's kind of thin that's got a lot of action. And once again, we're going to use olive. Now you can make this fly in multiple different colors. Um, you can use, you know, make a two-tone version of it, but uh, I'm just going to go with olive on olive. All right, let's get that hook in the vise, nice and tight as always. <laughs> These big flies. All right, attach my thread. I'm gonna come back a little further than I usually do because this fly is gonna have two eyes or two sets of two eyes, so four eyes total. All right, go ahead and clip off those eyes. I'm gonna do two at a time, like so. Put the first set on. Like I said, I always like to wrap them one way, then pull it back, then wrap them the other way. And after that, I'll go ahead, do my figure eight wraps. All right. I'm gonna attach that second set of eyes right in front of the first set. Same way, several wraps in that direction. Kind of pull it back, straighten it out. Several wraps back that direction. All right, then I'll do my figure eights. Now, if I'm feeling fancy, sometimes I'll put a, a drop of uh, epoxy here to give a little bit of extra weight on the bottom, but definitely not required. So we're not gonna do it. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap the thread back about even with the point of the hook. And we're gonna find some hackle. And I like to get the nice big webby ones because that's going to form the body of this fly. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple of them. I want to make it nice and full. Now with this, we're actually going to tie them on with the uh, thicker end 
of the hackle first. So I'm going to tie this in in first. I'm not concerned about the fuzziness of it, the webbiness of it. Not really concerned about much. Go ahead and wrap my thread up to the front because we're getting close to being done. I'm going to just wrap these guys forward, kind of brush them back as we go. Not too concerned about getting it nice and neat. And I'll go ahead and tie them off pretty much even with the, uh, the dumbbell eyes. Trim that. Now I'd like to have some hackle up here around the eyes. So I'm going to go ahead and put a third hackle on there. I'm going to come back right behind that first set of eyes, tie that hackle in, and then go ahead and come back up to the eye of the hook. A couple of quick wraps. Get up there to the eye. Go ahead and tie that off. All right. Now we're going to put our wing on. And I'm not going to trim this down at all. I'm going to leave all this bushy underneath that wing. I think that gives that body a little bit more fullness. I'm gonna make the wing just a little bit longer than the hook so it goes past the point of the hook, past the bend of the hook. Lay that down on top of all that hackle. Tie it in. Trim that a little bit, just to try to keep the uh, eye of the hook clear. All right, we'll give that a whip finish. Okay, we are done with the tying portion of this fly. <laughs> That's it. Super simple. Now I'm going to be make it a little fancy. We'll put a little head cement on there. Once again, I'm using that uh, Loon UV finish head cement. The uh, flow version. So we got it on there. We'll hit it with the UV flashlight. Give it a few spins. And it's pretty much done. The only thing left to do now is I like to trim the bottom off flat. So that uh, like a crab, this thing can crawl along the bottom. If you want, you can give it a little taper 
maybe cut some of those fibers up near the eye of the hook a little shorter. But that is it. Like I said, down and dirty. <laughs> Quick and easy tie. Uh, once you practice that, you can whip those things out probably in five minutes or less. But I guarantee you it will catch fish. I know it catches redfish. I haven't tried it on bass. It would probably catch bass. I know it would catch sunfish, uh, probably bonefish or any other fish that eats little crabby looking things that crawl along the bottom. Anyhow, if you like that, um, I've got a whole playlist of uh, down and dirty guide flies. I'll link that right there. Please uh, comment, subscribe to the channel. And as I always say, good luck on the water.